climbing the ladder. Stephanie Johnson first against her best friend, Shannon O'Keefe. Then the Hall of Famer, Kelly Kulik. And then Clemmer, the former collegiate star, McHenry. All falling to Stephanie Johnson. But next is Liz Culkin. Johnson Culkin, championship match is on the way. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our number one seed from Schenectady, New York, Liz Culkin. Just outside Albany, the capital region of upstate. Looks for her third title. Was the number two seed at the Queens last year. Finished third, USBC Queens. Has a major 2018 U.S. Open to her credit. Has a good Let's start go, left lane. Crunches the one three pocket, Sydney. That's the start you want. Absolutely. And Liz is one of the more animated players out here on tour. We always know how Liz is feeling. We can hear her. We can see her. She's just so fierce. She really embodies the philosophy of the PWBA, you know, bull fearless. Hashtag bull fearless. Hashtag bull fearless. my tweets. I know you retweeted. You saw that. Like the longtime member of Team USA. It's going to end, though, as we talked about. Big storyline on the women's tour this year. She and Shannon O'Keefe. Retiring after 2022. Can she keep on trucking? Yes. Good start to the championship match for Stephanie Johnson. The same ball that she threw last match, a UC2. Pinned down, so it's going to flare a little bit less. Do you like that choice? I do, because Stephanie is awesome when her angles can be more in front of her. If she was to go with a pin-up ball, it would force her feet further to the left and give the advantage to Liz. But right now, Stephanie can play to her strengths. Yeah! And that's exactly what Let's that pin-down ball is going to do. It's going to slow down when she misses left and go forward. Any player who rolls a 300 game during our telecast night will receive a $10,000 bonus courtesy of GoBowling.com. Visit GoBowling.com to find out local bowling centers, get tips from the pros, and for all the latest news and information about your favorite sport, bowling. Well, we are off to a perfect start. Let's go again. Wow. Powerful shot through the 1 3 pocket, 8 pin stance. This is just throwing two different balls from DB8. Quite a bit weaker than the one she's throwing on the left lane. I believe she's also sliding for the left on this left lane. So we saw the ball start to hook earlier on this left lane. She's embracing it. Always interesting to me what the top seed does during the show. And as we asked her in the interview, that seems like a while ago, <laughs> at the <laughs> top of the broadcast, a lot of observations. Be watching the bowlers. Looking for ball reaction. And her choice of equipment out there. Three six up Gotta for Liz. Right. Great aerial view of Rockford, Illinois. We're about an hour plus from Chicago, close to the Wisconsin line. Johnson. Oh. Lot of lumber left. Four, six, seven, nine, ten. Greek Church almost the four pin. That was close. It's her first open frame of the day. Climbing the ladder from the first match to the championship tilt here. The bowling center installed new kickbacks on this pair before we got here and man it almost played in Stephanie's favor that was close that would have been awesome first open in 32 frames today for Stephanie how about that as the five seed <laughs> pretty good bounce back shot She'll make her spare, get up on the right lane, make another great shot. Game changer. 
in the open frame. She was cruising along. Now down by five pins. She said to us last night, I feel like I'm among the elite bowlers in the world. I've got to prove it. You've you got to go out and win. It's been a while for her, four years since she's had a title. She said, what a way to start the season. Be on TV, top seed at the touch high and the three six up for her. As women, we, we tend to have a tendency to blame ourselves a little bit more than the lanes, where the men are a little bit more of the opposite. Sometimes we have to accept that it's not us, it's the lane. A little hop, skip, and jump there. <laughs> oh, get that. Second straight 3-6 conversion. Just enough there, Sid, for the 3-6. That that's why we throw spare balls. They're going to go pretty straight. Liz knew she might have a chance to chop it. Cisco, spare of the week. That play, crossing over. Almost a Brooklyn strike for Liz Culkin. 3-10, baby split instead. During her warm-up shot, she was throwing that strata hybrid on both lanes. And she said to her tour reps, Mike and Jeff, I want to throw the Damn Good Verge Pearl on the right lane because I think the strata hybrid's just hooking too much on this lane. And it's starting to look like she's getting that same feeling on this left lane. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a ball change from her. Not always easy. Yes. Got it. Yes. Great conversion. Fifth frame for Johnson. Yes! Come on. D Livers. What well, made this a great shot, Sid? Stephanie's throwing the just right ball at the just right time. She just needs to keep doing exactly what she's doing. This left lane is the one that's a little bit more tricky. If she 37%. Can strike on this, yes, if she can strike on this left lane, that'll put some pressure on Liz. One pin match here. To take the lead back six frame. Yeah! Tap on the 10. Down it goes. And Johnson back on top. Halfway home of our championship match. Big double, Stephanie Johnson strikes in the fifth and sixth frames after opening up with two strikes. A nine pin lead, halfway home of our season opener on the PWBA Tour. Top seed Liz Colkin, fifth seed Stephanie Johnson trying to climb the ladder for another title. This is it. Out of the break, let's call count. Yes. Big strike. Big answer. Is we just want everyone to be successful because if one of us is su successful, it makes the tour better. Great message. Left See? lane, Culkin. Yeah. Yeah. Big strike, let's call it. Puts the pressure back on Stephanie Johnson. Definitely dead. Getting her ball further right quicker. Probably left her eyes in the same spot. We heard her say, see it. Family watching back home in Schenectady. Big watch party going on. Same for Stephanie in the Dallas Metroplex. For the lead again. Yeah! Got the lead again. Late tap on the seventh pin, down it goes, and she's back on top. I love this shot from Stephanie because it looks almost like a carbon copy from the previous shots on the right lane. It's like I said earlier, she's so accurate, it makes her so good. Because when you're accurate, you can make moves easily, decisions easily. You don't have to guess, you just know. Back and forth we go here. Stephanie for the four bagger. And a 19 pin lead. Another huge shot in our championship match. Yeah! Crushes, and we mean crushes the one three pocket into oblivion. Those pins had no chance. And Stephanie up by 19.
<laughs> wow. This is some great bowling here, Sid. Her reactions say everything. She's so excited. Both of these women, they bowl fearlessly. I know I already said that, but it's reality. It's true. And these are the women we want, the young girls who are trying to come out on the PWBI. These are the women we want them to look up to. Ten pin for Culkin. Good shot, good shot. I liked this shot from Liz. There's not a lot you can do in that situation. She thought she threw it good. Shot girl, stay clean. Second time in her career, she is the top seed. Also, in 2018, Twin Cities Open lost to Rocio Mostrepo. <laughs> 10 pin. Speaking of 2018, her biggest victory came that year, oh, U.S. Women's Open against Stephanie Johnson. So it's a rematch. She captured her second PWBA Tour title, first major, 218 196 win to take home the title in Orlando at Boardwalk Bowl. What a moment that was for Liz Culkin trying to repeat the feat with a title here today. Won't be easy though, down by 20 pins late. <laughs> Left lane, yes! got it. Go quick, come on, make her shoot it. What I love about Liz is how competitive she is. She's so competitive, and she's not afraid to show it. Sometimes we can get a little bit shy on how competitive we are. But women in sports are just as fierce as men in sports. Stephanie trying for her fourth career title here, Sid. Be her first since the Players' Championship we talked about in Plano, Texas, at her home center for her first and only major. It's been a while for Stephanie. Foundation frame. Go up by 30. 10 oh, pin stands. Good shot. Really good. That's one of those shots that's a little bit more in front of her than the other ones. Doesn't get quite as far right to the friction. So the ball doesn't have as much energy to go through the pins correctly. But you know you have good ball motion when you can miss like that and still hit the pocket, and she still had a really great chance at striking. Has her mark. Inching closer to the title. Needs two strikes and two pins to win it all. Founder of the tour, right behind her, John Summer. This historic building, historic bowling town. Stephanie would like to make some more history right here. Looking for the first. Yes. There's one. Her biggest fan watching. She gets my favorite hit in bowling. Four pin going late. Oh, man. moment for Stephanie this week came up on a Facebook memory. She felt his presence was with her the entire week. And that is that. Stephanie Johnson wins the 2022 PWBA Rockford Open.
opens up the tour season in style with her fourth career title. No return to Rockford with Sydney. Eli, Kenzie, I love you. To present the, reason the trophy. I do what I do. A special tribute to her kids. Watching back home in the Dallas Metroplex. Johnson, a winner today. 228, 203, Stephanie Johnson, fourth career PWBA to her title, knocks off the top seed. Liz Culkin, time now for the trophy and flower presentation. We are here with the 2022 PWBA Rockford Open Ch Champion, Stephanie Johnson, and we have John and Nancy Summers here to present her with the trophy and flowers. That was definitely some fearless bowling. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of the Illinois State Bowling Proprietors, the Cherry Bowl, and all these great fans, congratulations. Thank you so much. Stephanie, that was some amazing bowling that we saw. Tell us, how does it feel to win your fourth PWBA title? I can finally breathe now. Oh my gosh. Um, this was a week I was channeling my dad and um, I just had this calmness over me and I just bowled with such appreciation for being here. And John is really the reason that we're here. You know, all the history here at Cherry Bowl and I just couldn't be more thankful um, for the opportunity. It's been four years. What made the difference? I think just my mindset, you know, just coming into play with an appreciation that we have this opportunity. And of course, my sponsors, Rotogrip, Coic, Vice, Extreme Travel, and uh, you know, my family at home. I love you guys so much. Mom, Chris, Levi, Kenzie, this is for you. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion, Stephanie Johnson.